Quick reminder, everyone, before this video gets started, I'm actually announcing the winner of my $8 million shark card giveaway on my Twitter account in just a few hours after this video goes live. Now, I know this is for Grand Theft Auto Online. This is a Red Dead Redemption 2 video. But in the future, not only do I plan on doing more shark card giveaways, but I'm also going to be doing some gold bar giveaways as well. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for more content to be added into Red Dead Online because right now there's not a ton you can buy other than, you know, changing the the color and cosmetics of your gun and clothing. So when that day comes, we will do plenty of those and all of those will be held on my Twitter account, which I'll leave a link to in the description. So check that out, enter. You could be walking away $8 million richer for GTA Online and in the future have some awesome gold bars to use in Red Dead Online. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm gonna be showing you guys an incredibly useful tool that you should be using for Red Dead Online. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have been using a website called RDR2 Map. It's a single player map that shows Easter eggs and you know interesting locations where you'll find free gear. And what I did and what a lot of people are doing is they'll pull this map up on their phone or another monitor and they'll have it up while they're playing so they don't constantly have to be pressing start to get to the online menus and they can also see where they're going without breaking stride. Well, it turns out someone has created a online version of this for all of the lootables in game. And that is crazy. So I saw this posted on the Red Dead Online subreddit by a user, Lulzenberg, who I believe has actually created this. He says that there's over 972 locations of loot that you can gather in Red Dead Online. And the best part about Red Dead Online is the loot that you find throughout the world is static. It doesn't change. So from lobby to lobby, if you check the same places over and over and over again, you'll find the same gear there, which can be incredibly useful for finding ammo or maybe hard to find items that you don't wanna pay for in the general store. It's just overall very useful. So I'm actually gonna be showing you guys the website now. It's called rdomap.com, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. And it's pretty simple. You just pull up the map and you can start searching for a bunch of different stuff. So as you guys can see, here's the map. And if you wanna use it as just a large map, you can. You can zoom in to all the various locations and check out where you are. It's not dynamic like the Red Dead Redemption 2 companion app, which does work for online and will actually show you where other players are. But the big difference here is if we come over to this legend over here, we can see that it shows us a ton of different stuff. So for example, let's just click on fast travel locations right here. You can see doing that brings us to the big main cities that have fast travel points. Obviously Tumbleweed, Ansberg, uh, Blackwater, Strawberry, Valentine, Rhodes, San Denis, Van Horn, and Ansberg. Should be pretty obvious those were the big cities. But that's just a good example right there of where you can find some of the valuables in game and you can toggle them on and off as many as you want. Let's say you wanted to find something a little bit more valuable like a cigar. You can see that in these locations, a cigar is guaranteed to be there. So let's zoom in. And where is this in Valentine? You can see that this is right here and that's our location. There's going to be two cigars there and that looks like it's the little campsite outside of Valentine. What about this location right here? It's in Strawberry. So again, you can zoom in, you can see where everything is. And as I mentioned earlier, and the best part about this is because the loot is static, it's not dynamic, it's going to stay there in every single lobby you get in. Now, aside from cigars and stuff like that, you'll also find coin sacks. There's actually one right here. In fact, it's the only one in the game in the Grizzlies at Mount Hagen. So you can get some loot that way to earn yourself some extra money. There's also what I like to use this for is the jewelry spawns. You can see there is a ton of them throughout the world. Uh, these are places you'll go to where if you just hop into different lobbies, you can find jewelry and that jewelry can be sold directly to a fence. So there's a lot of things that you can find here, which is incredibly valuable, including lots of ammo as well. So if you wanted to get free express revolver rounds, express rifle rounds. Let's actually turn off jewelry. Let's see if we can put up some more ammo. Like, so for example, what I would do is I would turn on all of the ammo. Like if that's something you're looking for, you could even do shotgun slugs, ammo, uh, stuff like that. And now you have all the locations in which you'll find stuff like this that are scattered throughout the world. So whether it's on the shore of the flat iron lake or whether it's, uh, you know, in La Grasse or whether it's in, uh, you know, Van Horn or Ansberg, those are spots that you can go to to sort of gather a, a bunch of different loot 
and that's gonna be very valuable. Another thing I really like about this map is it shows all the locations of the gang hideouts and ambushes. So the hideouts, even though the spawns are RNG, so they're sort of random, you can see that all of them are listed here. And it'll give you a little description that those are the gang hideouts as well. You can see there's a ton in New Austin, lots in New Hanover, some in Amberino, a few in West Elizabeth, lots in Lemoyne as well. These gang hideouts are incredibly valuable for finding loot and treasure maps, which can directly lead to gold bars and everything like that. And if you want to do the ambushes as well, which are the same thing, you can see that these are the locations right here. There's a ton more uh, in West Elizabeth than really anywhere else throughout the world. So that's where you'll find the majority of the ambushes in West Elizabeth. So again, that's another perfect example of what you can use this map for. And it's great for finding sort of the one-off sort of things as well, whether you want you know, gun oil or hair pomade. You can see the more you click, the more that's gonna start to stack up because some items are located in completely different locations. And if you wanted to get stuff for your horse as well, you can see horse medicine, horse reviver, and horse stimulant all can be found in those spots right there. And those are some of the most expensive items in the game, things that end up healing your horse. However, if you're on the lookout for something different, you can find pig locations there, rat locations there for whatever reason, you might end up needing that. And then for whatever reason, you might want opened items of everything we've mentioned. Uh, you can find all of those there too. So bottom line is if you do a good enough job of exploring the world of Red Dead Online, you'll really never have to pay for essentials ever again. And, and that can really start to add up because you're thing like baked beans and you know salted meat, that's one to four to five dollars every time you have to buy that from the general store. So this can really save you money. You know, every time you clean your guns, that's $1.50. If you get gun oil on your own, you don't have to pay that amount of money. Uh, and you can even make money too by acquiring jewelry and other valuables like pocket watches that you can find scattered throughout the world too. So really, this is just going to make your life so much better by being able to find these essential goods scattered throughout the world. Honestly, the ideal setup here, and I know not everyone has the capability, I don't even have the capability to do that, but it would be awesome if you could have one monitor with this map up, another monitor obviously playing your game connected to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and then either on your phone or your tablet or whatever the case is, you have the companion app that will allow you to uh, check where other players are. You can actually order goods if you, for whatever reason, need them. The companion app does offer a little bit more functionality because it's a Rockstar specific one, but this tells you exactly where everything in the world is, and that is incredibly impressive. Now, what's awesome about this entire thing is the user that's created this, Lulzenberg, has said that they are going to be adding more locations as uh, more information is found on either potential new gang hideouts or ambush points, campfires, herbs that you can find, all lootable items. He says that he believes he's found 99% of all the items you can gather. And hopefully this is something Rockstar does not change because this is actually a habit that I've made into as well. And this is something that you can do too. You don't have to go out of your way to find these locations. Like for example, one of the locations I like to go to a lot is the Big Sky Ranch, which is like right in the middle of the Dakota River. So anytime I'm fishing for sockeye salmon and then I make the transition to the other side of the river to go get steelhead trout, I'll stop, I'll get the oat cakes, I'll get the horse medicine, I'll get the horse reviver, I'll get the jewelry from inside, I'll get the gun oil from inside, and a one minute stop gets me you know, 15 to $20 worth of supplies that I don't have to pay for. And every time I hop into a new lobby, I just do that same thing over and over and over again. So you really don't have to go out of your way to take advantage of something like this, which is the best part of this entire thing. And as you use this map, you'll start to figure out, okay, I know where this is. It's, it's like you get familiar with roads on the street. You'll understand that that house has this item, this cabin has this good that I can take, etc. So it might seem a little bit daunting at first, all the different icons on the map, but the more you play and the more you figure it out, the easier it becomes. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. I will leave the link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, let me know if you found this useful in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. 
or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.